Okay, so far be it for me to miss an opportunity to multitask. I am sitting inside the car wash and I was listening to a podcast. Ooh, I hope you can hear me over all the car wash noises. How is it that Alex Murdoch is already in prison, but we are still finding out new information about his trial? Apparently, um, Cousin Eddie, listen, Cousin Eddie is spilling all kinds of tea. I, my only regret is that he was not put on the stand so that we could hear it all live in person at the same time. Apparently, during the roadside shooting, Cousin Ed, Alex said to Cousin Eddie, um, Alex, let me, got to get my mind right. Cousin Eddie asked Alex, what happened? And Alex was like, man, it got all effed up. What got effed up? What was supposed to go down versus what actually happened? Did Cousin Eddie have prior knowledge of the murders? Did Cousin Eddie look at the whole situation and be like, mm, Alex did that? Like, I don't know. I'm dying to know. And now Russell Lafitte, that, that, that boy is out of his doggone mind. Russell Lafitte has filed yet another request for a new trial. And the judge was like, boy, I'm gonna need you to get out of here. Russell was like, no, 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 judge. Listen, Alex Murdoch has cleared me. Remember during the trial when Alex said he did it all by himself? It was not me. I got tricked. See, did you did you watch the trial? Do you do you know Clifton Newman? Because judge, we trust Clifton Newman and uh, Alex said he didn't do it. And Judge Gurgle was like, um, uh, Russell, yes, I did watch the trial. Now, this is not what he said. I'm paraphrasing. He said, Russell, I did watch the trial. And did you know that Alex Murdoch was the lionest liar who ever lied? The boy got up there and lied every time he opened his mouth. He's not, he, he's not going to be credited. That's not going to go good for you, Russ. It's not. It's not. Also, the judge probably said, did you see the snot? I might double your sentence based on the snot alone. You are using this man to back up your story. Russell, I'm going to need you to sit down. I'm going to need you to have all of the seats. Now, he said all of that in judicial language, but that was the bottom line. So Russell, who had his trial back in November, who has not been sentenced yet and is clearly very nervous about his upcoming sentence, is pulling out all the stops. The problem is he's pulling out the wrong stops. Also, Russell... For those of us who followed your trial, we know you stole money, not just from Murdoch clients, but from other people too. Boo-boo, you going to prison. Enjoy your bologna casserole. Bye.